Hey everyone, it's Dominic, the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks for coming by to check out another video. I am in the Primetime Treasure Mobile on my way to an estate sale from my number one favorite estate sale dealer. Now, this is just probably going to be a mini haul. The house does not seem like it's packed or loaded, but it does look like there's some good things in there. It's still winter time, so there's not a lot going on right now, but I figured try to get out there, do a sourcing video for you because I know a lot of people love these. So we'll see what we can find. I think I have a little good omen going into it. I just sold that Schnauzer plush stuffed animal that I found from one of her estate sales previously. Uh, sold it for $20 and had a very low cost of goods on it. So, you know, not a huge sale, but maybe a good omen for today. We'll see. Let's head on over there and see what we could find. All right. Well, here we are. And we've got our line of cars as usual. Nice old development. You could see some of the uh, older houses that are here. So just got to find a spot and the exact house. And I'll turn it back on once we've got that all figured out. Okay, well, I think we found the house, <laughs> as you can see. There's that garbage dumpster I was telling you about that's uh, outside a lot of the estate sales. Everyone's lined up, but have no fear. I'm not even on the list, but have no fear. And the line, look at the line of cars down this way, line of cars down that way. I mean, it's just crazy. I'll find a spot and we'll get in line. So we're walking down now, uh, just a couple things to point out if you're brand new to my haul videos and particularly estate sales, don't get intimidated by all these cars and all these people. Uh, most of them are just casual observers. Some people are tag-alongs. Uh, there's a bunch of people who are just looking for a very specific thing and then they leave and the vast majority of them get overwhelmed very fast and then they run out of the house. So um, the amount of people that are going to be there that are true competition for, you know, what you're really trying to do in a reselling business, you know, is not as high as you might think. I mean, they're there, but not quite as high. All right. So I just signed up on the list and I am actually number 94. So 94, that's pretty high, but uh <laughs> You'll still see, I will still wind up getting stuff even at number 94. Blooper real time, I walked all that way and forgot I need my wallet. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. Now I gotta walk all the way back down. All right, good I have a few minutes to kill anyway. I need the exercise. So, that stinks, but that's why I have a hat on. And I've got a hood, got to be prepared. Okay, well, I have two choices. I could either stand outside in that pouring rain or at number 94, I'm just going to stand here under this area and stay dry. And I'll just wait till I hear my number. This is like I always say, everyone, don't be a sheeple. Sometimes it uh, pays to just do your own thing. So there's no basement. So I'm looking for a room that has some collectibles. There was nothing good in that room. Those collectibles were damaged and uh, this is the dreaded Christmas room. <laughs> the worthless Christmas stuff. Uh, pencil sharpener right there. Thank you. Remember these? Guaranteed $30, $40 piece. For a buck, pick it up. This will be $30, $40, maybe a little less because there's some damage on there, but great pickup. Talk more about this later. Nice horseshoe picture frame. Really cool. Very cool. Uh, definitely going to pick these up, this whole box. Uh, nice lot. And this is these are vintage Kodak stills. Like You could see this one here of um, the Williamsburg Inn. West 950. There's a whole bunch of ones. I saw Boston 1940s. I'm just going to grab this whole box. It should do well on this. I had these as a kid. I remember I had all four. And every, these here, every once in a while I come across one of them at a sale. I'm always trying to find all four of them and uh, usually they're badly damaged and so this is really cool. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to pick these up. Uh, it just has like a name written inside on some of them, but this was all four. They came as a set. So you got to Turn them around too to find them because they're pointing the other direction. They're more obvious if they're 
face them this way, you know, with all the colors. So, but uh, these are great, awesome. Now, if you see these old foreign books, uh, pick them up as well. This one actually sells probably for around like 15. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's a name in there, that's okay. Um, cool book, 1945. Check the comps. This is a good one. See, now you also have to look for things that are somewhat camouflaged. Like this right here has escaped detection so far. And it only says a dollar on it, but these are chem trading cards. They're vintage cards. And if you look at them, like I'll show you, they've got this cool flower design on it. And there's some of them that look really neat. Like you could tell they're vintage, like right here. Okay. These are from the 40s. The prices are all over the map on these. Uh, from as high as a little bit over a hundred dollars to you know, ten twenty dollars so it really depends you have to look at the pattern um, the year is important so but for a dollar I'm definitely gonna pick it up do a little bit more investigation I checked there's more than 52 cards in here so we should be good few have a little bit of um, writing on it but overall the vast majority of them are in good shape so I'm gonna pick it up so we're gonna head out because most of the house is pretty bare uh, like this. So there's just not a lot of other stuff. And there's just not a lot of other stuff. So uh, it's time to pretty much move on. All right, we're out of here. This is the back view of the dumpster. This is all the stuff that got thrown out from the house before we went in it. So you could imagine this place was uh, pretty much a disaster before we came in there uh it's crazy and you can see the size of the dumpster i mean it's huge and there's stuff on top so these estate sale dealers they put a lot of work in uh putting that sale together so love to come over show them some love some support did pretty good here today all right well we're out of there wound up doing relatively well overall given the fact that it was a small sale and uh, most of the rooms were pretty bare without too much stuff in there. But there were a few areas where I was able to find some things, even though I was number 94 on the list. And that wound up um, you know, being less of an issue because I didn't get to say this earlier, but once the state sale dealer got up to number 50, she just said, all right, just let everyone in. Everyone could just come in. So everyone just went in and went their merry way and... I uh, wound up uh, finding some good things as you saw. So we'll get back to Primetime Treasure Headquarters. I'll do the layout. Uh, if Daisy's around, I'll, uh, I'll put her on camera. And, uh, you know, we'll just do a little review of what the items were. So uh, let's head on back. Hello. What's your name? I love dogs. So whenever I see one, I love to uh, stop by and say hello to them. I was just grabbing something to eat and uh, happened to come across this cute little, cute little girl. Hello. You're famous now. You're on YouTube. You're famous. <laughs> oh, God, I love dogs. All right, I'll see you later. They just wait so patiently and just so loyal for their owners. I just, I absolutely love it. I mean, their eyes are just, just incredible. Oh, my gosh, I love dogs. All right. <laughs> I thought he dog lovers out there would crack up with this one i'll see you later everybody all right well i happened to be by costco uh on the way home and so i took advantage of that and just uh made good use of my time by walking back there and just grabbing some of these slip sheets for free i've talked about these before but they protect the pallets and they are great protection for big items that you have that are flat, that you can't really protect well with other size cardboard flaps. So if you had like a big art print, for example, love to put it on top of this. Make sure you get the ones with the thicker corrugation and not the flimsy ones. All right, we're off. All right, well, I also had to stop off at Home Depot on the way back and whenever you come across these boxes like this i highly suggest picking them up for your business because like this would be perfect for a beer tap <clears throat> and uh you know this little one here 
you know, perfect size for, you know, a small item that you don't want to put in a huge uh, box. And, you know, there's a bunch of them. So just grab them, toss them in your cart, and it's uh, free boxes. Daisy. Hey. Daisy. Hey, you gonna help me out? We gotta get to these orders, all right? You ready? Let's go. Let's get the orders processed. What are you doing? What are you looking at? Come on, let's go over here. All right, let's see what we got. It's right up here, right at the table. You're going the other way. All right, you hang out right there. If I need anything, you grab it, all right? All right, so we are back at Primetime Treasure Headquarters and this is the overview of all the items. So let's go through them piece by piece. This is the Walt Disney book set that I was talking to you about earlier. I've been looking to get these for a long time because I had them when I was younger. They were published in 1965. I had them growing up in the 70s because they were a uh, hand-me-down from another relative. But I read through these uh, vociferously when I was younger. So um, I you know, don't know where they wound up going, but uh, glad to see them again. Every time I see them at garage sales and estate sales, there's always only one of them around. And the binding is always broken or there's writing inside and ripped pages. So I've never picked it up. I've been waiting to find a set for a long time. So uh, glad I found it. If you've never seen these before, they just tell a whole bunch of stories like you just saw. Uh, there's Bambi right there, and there's just lots of nice, colorful illustrations. Great for kids. Uh, just a terrific set of books, and each one there you saw was Peter Pan. Um, you know, really cool illustrations in there. Uh, brings back a lot of memories for people who read through these, and so a lot of people, you know, lost them or misplaced them like I did, and they want to get them back. Now, they normally came with a slip cover. The slip cover is green. Uh, you would be surprised how many people held on to these with the slip cover. So they're relatively easy to find with the slip cover, which means it's more challenging to sell it without the slip cover. So with the slip cover, max value is about $60. Without it, the uh, max value is going to be around $27. So I'm going to hang on to these for a while, read through them, reminisce, and then eventually uh, list them and you never know during that time I may come across the slip cover at some point just by itself and then I could pair it with this believe it or not that happens sometimes uh, Then this was a no-brainer to pick up this Boston uh, Pencil sharpener sometimes you'll see it say Boston on the side other times you'll see it say Chicago on the side Let me get it in a better angle there for you uh, so these are uh, also nostalgic items, vintage pieces people love to get. You could see it's dirty, but uh, all this stuff could be wiped off. A lot of it be, could be cleaned, so I'll make it much more presentable. It will wind up likely selling somewhere in the $30 to $40 range. So that's that one. Uh, this one here did have some comps on it. It's about a $15 book or so. It's a vintage German uh, book, like I showed you earlier. Don't worry about the name, that's no big deal. It doesn't take away from the value too much. But uh, this title is apparently a popular one uh, for German readers. Then there's this interesting um, uh, set of cards in the plastic case by Chem. And like I said, the values for these are all over the place. I think part of it has to do with the design, also the age. There's a bunch of them from the 70s, but these are from the 1940s. And so that should make it uh, more valuable. You could see here, it's got this uh, you know really cool vintage look to it. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I've seen uh, a different pattern on the card sell for... Uh, over $100 or right around $100. So we'll see where these wind up going for. I don't know, they could wind up going for a lot lower, but at least it does have some uh, potential. Uh, some other things that have some good potential, and this one doesn't really have any comps on it, but it's this uh, horseshoe. And I picked it up because it's a vintage piece. People love to decorate things with horseshoes. It also has you know, some old pieces of uh, wood on the back. Uh, that hold this glass piece in frame with the picture. Now, I tested it out. This can rem uh, be removed. It's hard to do it with uh, one hand, but this does come out. You just have to loosen this a little bit, and um, this will slide out here, and someone could replace it with what they want. I'm having a difficult time doing it with one hand, but it does come out. So, 
Now the thing is, is that it does uh, appear here on the bottom that this piece of glass is broken and there could be a wood piece here uh, that's missing. That being said, I still think it's cool enough that someone's going to purchase it. I'm not sure what the price will be on it, but uh, this is one of these things where you take a little chance on, but it's hard to pass up on a horseshoe uh, wooden picture frame. To me, I think that's really cool and someone will want it and try to do some customization to it uh, themselves and, um, you know, and pick up this piece. So we'll see what happens with this one. Uh, now this, I think, is the one with the most potential. These are these vintage slides, which I wound up getting for a total of $3, believe it or not. And when I went through them, you know, at the sale I showed you, there were a couple of ones like this one here that tell you what they are about on the actual slide. Like this one's about Raleigh Tavern in North Carolina. And um, this one over here is um, some maze in Williamsburg, uh, Virginia in the Palace Garden. But the majority of them are personal photos and they have what uh, are essentially like bookmarks inside that tell you what some of these slides are about. And this is cool because this I could advertise on eBay to let the buyers know what era these come from. And they clearly come from the 1940s. We've got Fort Sill in the 1940s. Uh, we've got the World's Fair, World's Fair photos from 1940, Christmas from 1940, some specific streets, Easter 1945. We've got Fort Bragg. Um, we've even got another country here. We've got New Guinea, so they must have won a trip over there. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. And the prices on these are really depend. They're all over the board. They could go for hundreds of dollars. They could even, if you had like Korean War ones recently, went for over $2,600. So I'm not saying obviously that this is going to go for thousands, but it does have the potential to get you know, maybe in the hundreds. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. It's one of those ones you take a chance on, but for three bucks, um, how could you pass something like this up? So total price for everything here, uh, this is, as you can see here, is the receipt. Total price for everything today, $14. So I'd say any single individual item that we sell here will give us our money back and uh, with the exception of uh, this one, because you have to ship it, so it wouldn't be in profit just on this one, but you get most of your money back with this one being about a $15 buck. Uh, and so you'll wind up being in profit on most of these things very, very fast. All right, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride today for that mini estate sale haul. I had a great time, lots of fun, interesting things happened along the way. So let me know what your favorite part of the video was and also what your favorite item was that you saw today that I found. Now, just to tell you one other thing about those uh, Kodachrome slides, you know, those go in a projector and they light up, they go up, up against the wall. The types of people who are interested in purchasing that are generally historians and town researchers, so town historians as well. Uh, they love to get things like that. If you could identify a certain era, so clearly we have the 1940s established in that box and there's even certain streets and certain cities. So people from that area love to get that type of stuff to see if they could find any interesting historical information about old buildings or certain people or places or you know geographical features from the area so hopefully it winds up going to someone like that you know we'll see down the road what winds up happening with it and i'll uh, try to give an update at some point down the road when that sells now one other thing i want to pass on to you that i didn't get a chance to tell you because the camera wasn't on at the time is to again emphasize the importance of networking when you're going to these sales, especially if it's from an estate sale company that you frequent often. And like I mentioned, this is my number one favorite estate sale company to go to. I'm very close with the family and the people who run it, not just on a business level, but also on a personal level. Like we'll text each other, send photos of our dogs to each other once in a while. So like I genuinely like them as people and as friends. Uh, I joke that I consider myself part of the family sometimes. So I uh, really are great people. But when you have great relationships like that, important opportunities open themselves up to you. So for example, they have an older relative who is going into a nursing home, a relative of the family who's actually the person who originally got them started 
in antiques and antique dealing and going to estate sales and then running their own estate sale company. And she has so much stuff apparently in her home right now that they're going to need several sales just to liquidate all of it. But they're going to start with a private sale, a private sale that is limited to 30 dealers. And they pull me aside to let me know that I am one of the 30 dealers that they selected. Now, within those 30, they're going to put a lottery system in place to determine who's going to get to go in that house one through 30. So, you know, hopefully I'm towards the beginning, but even if I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It sounds like there's so much stuff there. Like they said, you have to see it to believe it. So hopefully I could get the camera on in there. So maybe a little sneak preview uh, for the future. This is not gonna happen until somewhere around May or June. So it's a couple months away, but uh, just something exciting down the road in the future. And even after that private sale, they're gonna have a public sale, and they may even have to have two public sales just to get rid of everything that's there. And there'll be progressive markdowns as time goes on. So very exciting, very interesting, but again, talks about the importance of social networking. So that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. I got a bunch of other things to do. If you like the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, that's very important pass this channel on to others. We are nearing 3,000 subscribers. We're almost at 2,900. So let's get that extra 100 in there quick. Let's just get that out of the way, get in the 3,000s. I need your help to do it. I need you to spread the channel if you enjoy. There's over 350. 40 videos on this channel, all dedicated to helping you with reselling. And I am not charging anyone anything for it. So if the only thing you could do for me is share the channel with some other people and tell them to subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me if you could do that. So thank you very much. Come by my Facebook group. It's free. Lots of fun, free information there. The Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link is down below. And check out my Instagram because like today, for example, I put a little um, sneak peek of today's estate sale video with that dog clip. I had everyone cracking up. So uh, go there. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'll see everyone at the next video, everyone. Take care.